Hey, what's up, guys? Your boy Ruth Diesel here, and um, closing out the Arnold weekend. It is Monday morning, and uh, fight leaves out in a little bit. And uh, I just want to give a really quick recap to um, classic physique and what I thought. I guess I was supposed to do a uh, <laughs> I was supposed to do a uh, prediction video, but things got a little hectic at home. So um, I guess I'll just do a wrap up and what I thought of the show. And um, how I thought everybody looked, place, whatever. I want to preface this by saying that uh, this is just just my opinion. Uh, I love all the athletes. I don't have an issue with anybody. Classic physique as a whole, um, most of the athletes are pretty, you know, cool. No really beef, no beefs or anything like that. Um, so, uh, as you guys know, the placings were for George, Steve, Courage, Keon, Khaled, and Ricky for the top six. I'm gonna leave it at the top six. I may have some opinions on some more athletes um, just based on what people were asking me on Instagram. But um, my, I'm gonna start this off with what my predictions were. And my predictions were um, George was gonna win, uh, Keon would be placed second or third, uh, Steve would be in the top three as well. Followed by uh, Courage and um, I didn't really have anybody else. Um, I, f I had Filth. I had Filth as a battle between Khaled, Wesley, and um, a few more people. So that was my that was my prediction. As we all know, that's not how it went. Uh, after seeing prejudging yesterday, my my opinion changed drastically. Uh, <laughs> This is based off prejudging, not finals, just prejudging. I wasn't live at, at finals, so um, after being to a few shows in person, I can really tell you guys that um, how things look in person and how things look on you know video pictures is, is different. So uh, for certain athletes, things don't show the same based on you know skin color and, and things like that, different lightings and stuff. So, hmm. After prejudging, I had Steve winning the show. Steve definitely uh, pulled his shit together. He took you guys' uh, <laughs> he took the advice from him, not advice, but the criticisms you guys gave him after his last two showings about being, you know, not in shape. And he really, really came on point this time. Definitely, he had the best shape, you know, on stage, you know, small waist, wide quads, you know, wide uh, lats, big arms. Definitely, but that was him. Uh, I honestly had Khaled in second, which is very, very, you know, different because I didn't have him in my top five, really. <laughs> uh, Khaled was definitely the most conditioned guy there. Um, it's hard to tell from pictures, but at prejudging, he was in shape, very, very much so in shape. And uh, he stood next to George, and I liked him a lot better, honestly. I know that's very, not a very popular opinion, but it's mine, so... Um, I would have had George in third, followed by Keon, and Courage in fifth. Just because Courage was really off um, in the morning show. He was really off, and I think it's because he had... I think he had to drop the most weight out of everybody over the shortest amount of period. He fasted for like 23 hours the day before the show. It's really, really hard to feel back out after, you know, suffering that much. <laughs> Um, and Ricky, I had six, um, yeah, and Ricky was pretty much six, um, he, he was the only guy I, I got right, I would say. Um, let's see, at the night show, people looked a little different. Uh, the main two would be Courage came in a lot tighter at the night show. I guess he had a little bit more time to fill out, which makes total sense. Uh, George... Khaled, Steve, all look pretty much the same. Uh, pretty pretty much the same, in my opinion. I th for a lot of you guys who are wondering, they, is, this is <laughs> Steve has a lot of fans. George has a lot of fans, so it was very very split. Um, as as you guys know, George only won by one point. Uh, he got seven. Steve got eight points. So it's very very close in the judges' eyes. Based on the posing, just the just the poses. That's not 
that's all that's counted in, in um, figuring out the score, but just based off the, the mandatories. I gave Steve the front double and the having thigh. I gave George the back double and the side chest. So, uh, that leads to classic pose, which is a fucking crapshoot, you know what I mean? Personally, I would have gave that to Steve as well, just based off his shape. But George knows his strengths. He does that three-quarters back shot, which is a really good shot for him. Um, so that could have went either way, based on what the judges believed. They thought George was the the better the better athlete that day. Um, a little bit more, a little harder, um, a little bit more muscular, I would say, and dense, more mature muscle. But um, yeah, that's kind of where it went went uh, <laughs> where it went yesterday, which is really really crazy. In my opinion, um, yeah, it, it's almost to the point where there were, in a similar instance, let's go to the Olympia. Chris was a little bit softer um, than Steve, comparably. George was just as conditioned, you know, just as hard. Um, I'm wondering at the Olympia, will the placings change again? Will George beat Chris, you know, at the Olympia? Because they pretty much have a lot of the same strengths and weaknesses, in my opinion. Chris is a little bit bigger, I would say, a little bit taller, but um, overall, it's pretty much the same type of um, same type of strengths and weaknesses. So it'll be very, very interesting to see how the Olympia goes uh, <laughs> based on this win for George. And um, yeah, yeah, it was really, really interesting. I would say I did get to talk to a lot of the athletes if you're wondering what they're gonna do. Um, Steve, surprisingly, is going to take the rest of the year off. So he's pretty much just copying me. He wants to be a copycat right now. <laughs> um, I was really surprised taking second in the honor and not wanting to do any more shows to qualify for the Olympia. But um, apparently he's he's in a similar boat to me. He's like 10 pounds under the weight limit, which really, really surprised me. But um, so expect a bigger and better package from him. You have uh, Keon, who's doing the New York Pro next. I thought that was a weird... A, weird choice i mean it's a, it's a really big show don't get me wrong but the amount of time in between shows is very very strange um doesn't give you a lot of time to improve muscularly but it's a little bit too much time considering like if you want to get conditioned you need maybe like three extra week three four weeks i think the i think that shows a, a lot further out i think new york pros is, is like may june so it's um eight twelve 12 weeks out it's a little long it's a little weird maybe he needs more. i don't know no idea i don't know what <laughs> no idea why he would choose that but um let's see ricky who took sixth and Khaled will be competing again next weekend at the la fit i think Khaled's gonna win that show uh ricky has a better shape be a little bit more muscular but Khaled is hard as nails and if they go anything like they did uh this past weekend, it'll be the same result. Then he's going to compete against Courage uh, in Dakota, which is pretty cool, too. Courage won that show last year. Um, Courage will probably win it again. Um, Courage Courage is super round. Great poses, great side chest, great front double, great ab and thigh. Only weakness is his, uh, his back. It's a tough thing to bring up, but he'll get there. And... Um, yeah, that's kind of the call outs right now. Wesley, I think he's taking the rest of the year off as well. He wants to be like rough as well. Um, I really liked Wesley. Uh, Wesley, he improved quite a bit from the Olympia. And that's the only thing that matters to me. Yo, if you're proven, then that's that's great. Um, and he did that. He looked a lot sharper. He still can be tighter from the rear, but from the front, really hard. Um, more muscular, less came up quite a bit. And um, the thing, man, the one thing I really noticed about this show is everyone had a everyone had a really good attitude about how they looked and how they placed everybody handled everything like a champion like a professional which it should be and uh no one really complained um <laughs> which is pretty cool um steve said he he wants to get better he wants to get bigger he shook his hand on stage um everyone else yeah everyone even when i talked to courage um at the pre-judging he said he thought he was about fourth that's why he should have been at prejudging. He he pulled it together and moved up a spot to get third. Keon knows he needed to be a little bit tighter. Uh, <laughs> Cal is just happy, you know, with how he plays. He think I think he could have been a little bit higher, but he's 
he's just happy with the package he brought. And Ricky was beyond happy. He was crying happy. <laughs> uh, he had a lot of personal things going on. I don't know if he posted about it, but go check out if you want to know. Or, but um, um, he had some personal things going on, and he was, you know, just happy to be there and to, you know, look good enough to, you know, be in the, the first call outs, which is pretty amazing. Yeah, everybody was pretty happy, man, which is really, really cool. But that's my take on the night. Hope you guys, tell me guys what you thought of the show. Tell me guys who you thought should have won. Like I said, I thought my boy Steve should have won, but, you know, we can't win them all. And um, he'll be up there pretty, pretty soon. All right, guys. Till next time. Peace.